Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of December 4th. We're doing this a little differently today because halfway through doing my usual video, my flip camera froze. So we're going to try doing it this way and see if we can give you the results. So I've already chosen the cards. I wasn't going to reshuffle and, and so forth. And I'm doing this with my computer. So this is going to have a little different format than usual. So we'll start off with the focus card. You can see it here. This is um, the Eight of Swords. We've had this recently. You can see that um, his poor woman is caught up in a spider web with all these swords around her. In the back up here is the sign of Jupiter, the planet Jupiter, the big benefic, and down here in the corner is um, the sign of Gemini on the spider's back. We just had a Gemini uh, super full moon last night. And um, so as you look at this card, this is the theme for the week. And so swords is the element of air in the realm of mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. And uh, what this is telling you to look for this week is those times when you think you can't move, you think you can't do something, but in fact, if you remove the blindfold, if you are willing to look at the situation, you will then be able, she, all she needs to do is remove that blindfold and then she can take the, um, you know, grab a sword, cut herself free. Sometimes we think we can't go anywhere, we think we can't do anything, when in fact, if we just are willing to look at the situation, we can change it. So the theme for this week is to look for those places where if you remove the blindfold, you can change what's going on with your work and move it forward. The focus card for the week is the King of Swords. And you can see him standing, he's elevated on a cloud, he's holding the sword point down, he doesn't need to use it to threaten or um, wave around, you know, just to make you believe that he's powerful. He knows he's powerful. He's very confident in that. And the King of Swords, the King is the master of the element. So especially if you're a writer, your focus is, uh, for this week is how are you the master of your creative work? How are you the master of your writing? How do you need to come um, from a place of confidence in your creative work and not worry about trying to convince people that you're good at what you do? Just know that you're good at what you do. And so the king says, just stand there and be in your place of power. And of course, the phone rings in the middle of this, of course. Um, so uh, that's the focus. How are you the King of Swords this week? How will you uh, take that position and that posture so that you show others, that you show yourself? Because sometimes even, you know, if you even took this posture and held the sword point down um, as if you were this King of Swords, you would feel that power. You could invoke that power for yourself as a creative. So how are you the King of Swords this week? And then the action card Yep, another swords. It's the page of swords. And the page in the royal court is the one who, youthful, vital, energetic. He's also the messenger, the errand runner. And um, you can see that he's got two swords on this little pillow, two small swords, two daggers, so to speak. And um, so look this week, take action at it in at least two ways to communicate about your creative work. Um, how would you offer it up to others so that they could understand what you do? So they could see what you do. So they could value what you do. Um, it could be also that you need to take action on two different writing or creative projects and uh, get started on those. And then finally, <coughs> excuse me, the gift. <coughs> excuse me, it may not look like much of a gift, the Seven of Swords. Swords generally as a suit don't feel like much of a gift. But in this case, you can see the burglar creeping in through the window. He's got five swords on his back. He's got two, there are two hanging here on the wall that obviously don't belong to him. There's a full moon in the background, but the sign that the magpie holds is the sign of Aquarius. So even though it feels kind of like our full moon from last night, it's not that full moon. The thing about a full moon, though, is, is that it illuminates. I mean, the moon last night, the super full moon, was so bright. It was almost like there was snow on the yard. It was so white on the grass. So um, the full moon illuminates. 
uh, and it makes it easier for the burglar to come in this window. Here are these two swords that the page was holding on his pillow. So maybe what you have to do is to come in um, and approach your work in an unexpected way. It's not through the front door, it's not through the room door, it's through the window, it's through an unexpected way. So um, maybe that's what you need to do, is to really take um, a new approach, and that's the gift. You get a new idea, a new way of approaching these two, these two projects or creative work and putting them out into the world. So as we look at the story for the week, let's see if I can hold all these up at the same time. Whoops. Okay, let me get them in the right order. There we go. <clears throat> so it's really, it, I have never done a reading where I've had all in a, one suit. And we have two royals here, okay? And we have a seven and we have an eight. So this is really well along the journey in the swords. So this week, it's all about communication, how you communicate with your mind, how you communicate with others, um, how you're going to communicate in more than one way, and then how you might need to communicate in a way that's not usually your way of doing things. So as you get out there this week um, with your work, really think about, um, you know, willingly removing the blindfold, coming, acting from a place of confidence. How do you need to exhibit that confidence? Getting your work out in two different ways. And then finally, maybe even approaching your work in from a unique, almost um, subversive way. That's the gift, being able to come at it in a way that was unexpected. Um, so I hope you uh, use this for the week and, and uh, I hope maybe next week the flip camera will be back, but if it will not, we'll be doing more of this type of video. So this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of Divinethemuse.com wishing you divine musings. <laughs>